Hi folks, thanks for tuning in again for another wonderful uh, high-end cheap tech video. Please watch the whole thing. I know already I went a little too long at the tail end. And just watch it. You might learn something. And all that being said, we're going to do that a little bit. Impulse selfie stick remote and shut her down and get on to the intro. Thanks. Poof. We're gone. All right, folks, I'm back from uh, that stellar intro. And today we're talking about two things. One, battery life. Took me forever to kill the battery on this thing. I mean, I wish I had a little kickstand kind of case so I could not have to use this old. I got this little stand back when I had an eight inch. I can't even remember the number of pieces. And yeah, uh, eventually, Got rid of it because it pissed me off. No updates, no updates. And then when I did contact support, I was assured, oh, we'll have updates. Wrong. They lied. Don't lie to your customer. Sure, it turns out like a week after I sold it, finally got an update. Two years after I bought it. <sighs> we went from Android 5 to Android 6. Okay. What took so freaking long, Asus? I don't know. We'll never know. So let's move on. On this phone, I was down like 31%. So I set it on my little stand there. And I watched two one-hour documentaries with the brightness wide open and well and one documentary of her with the history guys channel another 15 minutes and then I went and I checked that's not a 15 percent but I was like oh my god that's close enough we went into the red so I shut her down, put her on the 18 watt fast charger, and oh man, it was at 78% in less than an hour, which is more than adequate. Mm -hmm. And then it took a while to get to 89. And then it just it slowed down. Because they're trying to keep it cool, yeah. The worst thing you can do is put your phone on ultra-fast chargers. It sounds great. I put my hand on the back of that during the first portion, and I could barely hold it. So, yeah. So it took a while to charge back up, about three hours total. I finally turned it off. No one ever calls me anyway. So I did that, and you know, because it said 99% for, you know, we'll be done in two minutes. It was over an hour. It's not going to be done in two minutes. I turned it off, and within three minutes or so, I checked it, and bam, there it was at 100. So I put GSAM on and started that up. And sure as hell, between the time I got it started, it was already down to 99. Well, I had to live with that as a max charge. <coughs> so coming up on the screen, you're going to see what I was getting. This is from the... Uh, 
battery app, you know, built in the system on the Omidigi, the Van Halen 5150. Right here. I'll slide it over here, I think. Uh, not sure. Yeah, over there. And we're the screen on time, folks. Over 12 hours. And that was to get to 31%. So, everyone out there selling us these high end. Oh, this flagship is super fantastic battery life. That would kiss my ass. Uh, why would I pay? Yes, yeah, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars for a phone when I can pay one thirty nine. My job, of course, here is to stay in the box and get you to buy good quality products that work. Then we'll get the job. Especially if you're going to give it away as a gift. And uh, that's all I have at that end of the subject. G-Sam is running right now. We're already down to 98%. That might be the usual. You know, it, the first 2 or 3% go by pretty quick. That's just how it is. So... All that being said, let's move on to the second portion here. Now, there's a whole lot of tech reviewers out there that won. Oh, there is one thing I need to find for this uh, Omidigi. It comes with this TPU case. It's got no depth around the cameras on the back. And the lip is kind of useless and doesn't really raise it. It doesn't pass my paper test. If you've ever seen my paper test, you take a piece of, get a yellow sticky, slide it under there. It should go right under. It means you got some lift going on. You're okay. So just having a front screen protector is nice. It's nice. But it's not the be all end all. But thank God. You know, I can pull it up and the face unlock works. It's kind of a hit and a miss on this. Uh, but it works pretty well. Uh, as long as there's some light. Yeah. And the fingerprint scanner at the back is pretty much 10 out of 10. And by the time you Grab it with your hand, put your index finger there, and turn it over. You, you'll hear it click sometime between the time you're picking it up. You look at it. So, all that being said, now let's get on to them damn tech reviewers who are trying to sell you. And I hate this term. Oh, you're going to get this device. Phones are not devices. They're freaking smartphones. Call them what they are device like it's something special. Is it a hydrogen bomb? No. That would be a device. But it's a smartphone. And quit talking about how good it feels in your hand. I freaking care. If and see this is how they sell you. Up, try to upsell you out of that. You know. And then they have the balls to call the iPhone SE 2 at 400 bucks. A budget phone. Any reviewer who calls it that, dump your subscription to their channel or leave a rather loud comment going. 400 ain't budget, dude. That's mid range. Mid range starts at 301. There were exceptions where I would go into the mid range and recommend a phone. But, no. And so, 
I don't do full reviews. It's cameras, cameras, cameras. If you like fun to take photos and videos, you're buying the wrong product. Get a real damn digital camera. You can swap lenses, you can do whatever you want. You, know, you can become a true photographer, or you can half-ass it with a smartphone. And then don't talk about, it. oh, it, has, it shoots at 4K. Trust me, if you're buying a budget phone for your mom, your dad, your grandparents, or even your kids, they wouldn't know anything about FPS and all that other crap. And as far as gaming goes, you know, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'll do a gaming review on here because people like those and I know they do. So I can't leave crap out, can I? Mm -mm. Not if I want people to return. But to completely overlook the first thing, if Samsung is selling you a phone like the A51, and they say, oh, it has expandable storage, well, then the very first test you run on it, when you get it unboxed, is stick a card in there. It is a small one. Doesn't matter, you're just seeing if it'll do it. And if it, to, if it doesn't offer you the opportunity to format this internal storage, well, they lied. They flat out lied to you. All I gave you was a, a phone that you could maybe send all your videos and cameras and whatever you do. Maybe. Maybe. But no excuse, folks. Oh, well, this can handle it. Like, it's extra 512 through micro SD expansion. That's a lie. It's a bold, outright lie. It's like, yeah, there's a place you can put your stuff. And then you're still going to have to upload it to your PC and save it elsewhere. It's, it's the half-assed way of doing stuff. And this happens with anyone who has a skin. Samsung, still haven't heard a valid reason why I can't do this from the A51. Uh, and I've had, you know, UI 2.0 and UI 2.1. Uh, Xiaomi with their MIUI. Mm, probably doesn't work there either. I'm guessing. That's only. No, it's not really. I guess, because I had a Xiaomi cheap intro and it didn't offer the opportunity. There's just no reason for that not to be there. And one of the reasons I'm selling the Huawei P30 Lite, it's a great phone, takes fantastic photos, works really well. But for me, I need it to be expanded up to that 256 that it can handle also. And yet here I am on a 349 dollars, no, $339.99 phone plus tax, blah, blah, blah. I had free shipping, it's here. And I put the card in it on that first day. And bam! That was my second test. First, it's got hooked to your network. You make sure they're not lying about that, too. But, oh boy, I hate when I get pop up. Uh, oh, you won't see it. I saw it. Annoying. Uh, they don't do complete testing. Everything they do is designed. So, one, if they're big enough, they want to get another freebie. Two, 
they let them sell you cases until they get them for free. Like, you know, uh, my Project 13, they send cases left and right for everything. I, nobody's ever sent me a case for anything. I don't have a thousand subscribers. I don't have enough people watching my videos. Be nice if y'all came back all the time and watched every damn video, shared it, and gave it a thumbs up. And that's about it for tonight. So we're going to leave it right there. Two subjects, one video, too long, as usual. Sorry. But 12 hours and some minutes of screen on time. 39 hours since the last charge, and it was nowhere near that. A gap in there, I just started coughing. No apparent reason. Thank you. Fantastic heart failure. That's all I got for right now. We'll have something tomorrow, I hope. All I can say is don't fall really. I could have a flagship. Look at that battery and start doing it. You gotta have a phone that's decently optimized. Doesn't have skin on it at all. As far as I can tell, this Luna Digi looks like pure Google. No blowware, no extras. And with 5,150 milliamp hours and 39 point something hours, since the last full charge, and we, I gotta probably watch another hour's worth of it. <coughs> and just trying to kill it. But the worst thing for these is fast charging them. I've talked about it before get one of them little Nilliken magic tags and put it on the phone. You don't need to plug that. Uh, fast charger until it, let's say you're going on vacation or something. But you still don't want to take that with you if you can avoid it. Bring along a charging pad. Or ask when you make your reservations, do your rooms have, you know, wireless charging? And if you have a phone that will wireless charge. Now this one doesn't, but I guarantee I can get it done 50%, set it on my little Senio charger here, and go to bed right now. And guess what? Yeah, it'd be charged by morning. Nothing to it. Five volts one and oh, that takes forever. Yeah, but you're asleep. The hell do you care? Get over it, folks. All uh, right, now, uh, please read the description below for all links, and then like, share, subscribe. And if you do that stuff for it, or at least read the description, scroll down to where it says donate, send us a buck through PayPal. It's a safe transaction. Y'all have a great night. We'll see you in the next one. I am pulling chocks and gone. If I can get the um, uh, remote in my hands again. Bye.